Hi, this is David, and thanks for checking out this video. So with this video, what I wanted to do is explain how I've gotten to some of the techniques that seem to work well for me in, in, in just different scenarios. And it's cleaning up the background sometimes. Uh, with this background, we have so much going on. We have all these little lines of gradations in here from reflections and things like that. Uh, this line running through the clock right up against the skin with a sign up against the skin. And usually like cloning, you can do that cloning or however, you, you know, doing it that way, but it can take quite a while. And with all this modeling going on in the background, it can make it really difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually come in here and get rid of it in one fell swoop. And what I'm going to do is start by making a selection of him. So I'm going to go up to my quick selection tool, make sure that's selected, and we're going to select him. And I want to make a pretty good selection of him. Uh, and I'll show you why in a second. So we select his body because basically we want him pulled off the background. Make sure we got his head. And our area we're working on is right here. So if you notice, I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but right here his head's not selected. And normally I would go ahead and select this if I caught it, but I'm going to show you just sort of what happens if you sort of goof up a little bit and how you can fix that. It's not going to be in an area that's a concern to me, so I wasn't, I'm not going to be paying attention to that a whole lot right now. What I'm worried about is this area. So um, I know you can go in here and do a refine edge and sort of clean it up even a little more, but that's just for the sake of this video, we're going to speed it up. Um, with this, I'm going to go ahead and do a Command J to duplicate the selection and put it on its own layer. So that was Command J. So now we just have him selected. And you can see how we took a chunk out of his head there. And we do want to fix that at some point. So what we're going to do, we're going to come up now and grab our selection tool. And you can use pretty much the lasso tool or whatever works. So I'm just going to grab this one just so I can do this fairly quick. Select the area that's decent on the wall which is that area right there. I'm going to make sure we have our background layer selected because that's what we want to copy. We don't want to copy up here where it's just its head. We want to copy this better background. So I'm going to do Command J with that, which is put that on its own layer. So now we have basically that layer by itself. Now what we're going to do is since it's underneath him, we can move this to wherever we need to put it. So I'm going to actually do a free transform, which is a Command T which is going to let me free transform this and I'm just going to drag this over and stretch it out. So what it's doing is it's actually following the line for the most part along here and keeping that consistent which is kind of nice. And then just select it. Now what we do have is we have kind of a mess up here where we <laughs> took the chunk out of his head. And to fix that all we have to do is drop a mask on here now. And it's in white, so we can basically see everything we've done. We want to get rid of that, so we're going to paint in black. So we want to make sure the black is selected. Hit our B for our brush tool. Make sure our brush tool is selected. And we can just come in here and just paint this back out. And since the clock is down here and uh, the sign is, we can come up in here and just kind of fix this pretty easily. Now one thing to remember is it works better when you're making a large selection moving it a little bit than making a small selection and moving it a lot. <laughs> now what I mean by that is with this selection it was a fairly large selection that we stretched out a little bit. Let's try it the other way where we grab a small selection and then stretch it further. So if we come up here and think well we have to fix all this area and we just want to use this little piece, let me show you what happens. So we're going to make the selection, make sure we're on our bottom layer, the background layer, do Command J to copy it, and then we're going to do a free transform again, which is Command T, and once we stretch that out, it really starts changing the whole look of the image. And that does not look as believable as the other one does. So usually when you're, when you're doing this, you want to move smaller amounts, not large amounts. So just keep that in mind, and that seems to work really well. So hopefully this video helped out. Uh, it's a pretty simple way that I've used in the past to get rid of images. It also helps if you're trying to uh, stretch an image to a specific crop. If you are a little short to do a crop and you need a little extra width, you can sometimes grab the background and just stretch it to the side a little bit. So hopefully this has helped out. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to shoot me a, a message and I'll try and answer them. Thanks for watching.